Hey guys, welcome back. As you can tell, this is not a shocker of the week. This is a different format. And I want to introduce you to this new idea that I had. Since the shocker of the week episodes are getting better and better, um, obviously it takes more time to coordinate with teams, with um, you know locations, make sure that you have all the equipment and that's why I cannot shoot like three or four every single week. But don't get me wrong, the Shocker of the Week series is still alive. I will, you know, upload them as soon as possible. I have a couple more planned. And yeah, as of now, it's just like I need to wait for schedules of um, locations to get the equipment so I can actually shoot this stuff. So the calisthenic challenge is basically me trying to learn some of the moves in 30 days. I started a week ago and I basically vlogged my entire routine um, what exercises I did. I show you exactly what it looked like in the beginning and then I want to show you what it looks like after 30 days. Um, I will also provide you with the exercises that I do so basically you could just watch the video do the same routine that I did um, and yeah hopefully we'll be able to do a front lever, a muscle up, and yeah, I think I want to start with those two because it's pretty hard. So what I'm going to do now is I'll watch the video so I can talk over it, tell you exactly what I did, and then um, yeah, basically react to my own workouts. So let's get started. Okay, so this um, is my physique day one. Um, as you can see, I have a little body fat on the bottom. My back is, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay. But... I need to reduce some body fat. Like I, I want to be extremely jizzled, but this is not bad. Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I don't. I don't really know what to say. It's, it's weird to talk about my own physique, but I know what I want to change. All right, muscle up. So this is um, this is my first attempt of a muscle up. As you guys can tell, not successful. <laughs> um, I tried a couple more times. That one. Almost I used wait, let me pause this so I used a lot of momentum as you guys can tell I Bent my body completely to get that momentum to go all the way up. It didn't work out But the next one I think I'm uh, I, I was able to manage it. Here we go. Yep That's the one over here. I did it and then I did a couple more um, Also a lot of momentum. Oh, yeah failed on this one, but a lot of momentum which is uh, yeah basically cheating I want to be able to do like a very clean muscle up these are all yeah lots of momentum but for the first day not too bad boom here we go to be honest let's pause it right here um, it was it was quite the feeling to be honest like the the muscle up is all technique it's I mean yeah it's tough it's a tough exercise but I'm able to do pull-ups so I was like okay I, I'm pretty sure I can do that and after like a couple of attempts, I was able to do one or two or three muscle ups, but only one uh, at a time. And yeah, so I was like, okay, how do I get better at this? Uh, right now it's just all technique. Um, number one, step one, pull ups. So I started working on pull ups and what I did over here, as you guys can tell, I fully extended my arms, which means it's a dead hang. And then um, I tried to go all the way up. So my head above the bar, boom. Obviously after a couple, I got really tired and then I wasn't able to uh, bring my chin above the bar. But yeah, it's, it's day one guys. Day one or day two, I don't, I don't even know which one that one was. Okay, so this is the second set as you guys can see. Same thing, I try to like fully extend. So I have, ex like, uh, so I have the full range of motion for each rep. Because if I only did, let's pause it, I can talk over it. So if I just did half ones, I would not be able to like lift myself from uh, down here or pull myself up from down here if I only do like pull-ups right here, right? That's why for me it's important to like fully extend all the way up. Okay, I think that was, that was just like the first exercise that I did. As you guys can tell, it looks pretty painful. <laughs> it's painful to watch. Because I looked at... Um, professional calisthenic athletes and they make it look so easy. Oh, next one, front lever, boom. Um, for this one, I was surprised that I was able to actually kind of do it. Um, obviously, right here, let me pause. Right here, 
you can see that my arms are not fully extended but they should be fully extended so like that the movement comes out of my lats and not like my biceps right now my lat and my abs um or in general my back and my abs my core is uh too weak to fully support my body up there which is why i need to bend my arms a little bit but i have to work on that uh let's keep watching okay um, this, <laughs> yeah, this was an attempt to hold it up there. Didn't work out. Watch this. Okay, so, I think that's the one where I really fail. So, yeah. I don't have the strength to hold myself up there, for, not even for a second. So, okay, here's the one. Tuck, lever, and then I extend my arm, boom, gone. Stop it. Um, yeah. So I tried it, this is, this is uh, me documenting everything I wanted to show you guys that I am not able to do it um, because with the progressions that I will be doing for the next 30 days, I will be able to uh, do a front lever 100%. Like if I'm consistent with it, I, I know for a fact that um, I'm, I'll be able to do it because you will see the last clip is after one week of me just focusing on the front lever, lever doing a lot of holds for my abs. Um, a lot of pull-ups and yeah, it's, it's getting better. So step one, strengthen abs, here we go. What I did was, um, always in the hang, why am I not doing an L-sit? Why am my uh, legs like uh, bent? Because I'm not flexible enough and not strong enough to extend my legs fully at the moment. So I have to stretch more too, that's another thing. Um, but yeah, I was just holding, you see it's uh, different days but it's every time um, I'm just holding it for as long as possible for five to seven sets, depending on how much time I have at the gym. So I think that day with the Politis uh, t-shirt, I did seven sets of just, um, yeah, holds right there. I call it the baby L sit. And you can tell on my face, it was, it was hard. But uh, here, great example. Um, I also changed it a little bit. The earlier one was like kind of like if this is my uh, thigh, it was parallel. Now on this one, I have it like this. So it's a little higher. I need to flex my core even more to have uh, my legs up as high as you can see over here. And yeah, also the entire time grip strength because you just, you know, hang there. Um, yeah, I, I filmed all of them. <laughs> I think I filmed all of the sets. But I wanted to show you guys that this is actually what I do. It looks like nothing, but it's a really cool, oh, that's obviously a different day. It's a, it's a really cool workout. That is day three or four. Um, and you can see I have a pump in my lats. They're like really wide right now. Um, so yeah, I felt good. This one's pretty easy now. Um, after just three or four days, I felt really confident with the, with the movements or with the ones that I picked for the first week. See, I even do like some twists in there and I'm not breathing as hard as I did in the first, uh, first two days. Okay, step two, tucked front lever. This is one exercise I have to work on because as you guys can see over here, look how shaky I am. Like my abs are not strong enough to support my body. Um, and it's, it's a weird feeling because I want to bring my hip up, but it's, it's so hard. It's just like I can't breathe properly. And um, yeah, so I really have to work on that. I have to do, and I did seven sets um, for as long as possible. I think the first one, uh, when I started, I was able to hold it for like 15, 15, 20 seconds, but it's hard. And then the next one ends like at like 12 seconds and then it rapidly goes down. Uh, I think the last set is like five, six, seven seconds. Uh, yeah, so this is definitely an exercise I have to do. Um, I will, in the end, end of the video, I'll show you exactly what um, exercises I will be focusing on and you should focus on to, yeah, to get better at this. Next one, look right here. This was after, this was the end of the week. Pretty straight, still same problem. If you look at it, my arms are bending. So I use my biceps to like lift myself up. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's getting better. It's a progress, it's a progress. I was really happy though. This, 
I'm not gonna lie, this move feels so powerful. Um, and I'm not even close to actually holding myself up there. Here, the next one, the tucked one. Now, you guys see, let me pause this for a second. So the earlier one, the earlier tucked um, lever that you saw, my knees were really close to my body. On this one, I actually managed to bring him a little further outside, uh, which makes it harder because all the weight, you know, moves fo like forward. Yeah, forward. <laughs> this was progress for me. Feels way better than when you have the knees like really close to your body. Um, but yeah, still, still a tough exercise and I'm still shaky. Look at this and I wasn't able to hold it for that long. <laughs> okay. Step four, this exercise guys, there's a different name for this out, out there in online and like just the internet. I personally call it the reverse deadlift. Why? Because it felt like a deadlift. Look, look at it. So you're right there, imagine there's a weight and now you just stand up. So you bring, ah, oh, this is so hard. So right here, um, so you're parallel with your back to the floor and your legs are completely straight and now what you wanna do is extend, oh, extend your hip and then bring your hip close to the bar so that your legs stay really close to the bar, go all the way up. Ah. Really tough exercise. I'm only able to do six or seven, and then I need uh, seven reps, and then, then I need a minute or two minutes uh, of rest, because otherwise I feel like my grips like just slip in. Um, yeah, it's 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 a hardcore exercise. Yeah, I remember that. That's painful. Look at my face. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Here. Ugh. And then after one week. Here we go, look, it's getting better. So now I'm having fun with the workouts. Um, first it was like an exercise, now I'm having fun. I did a couple pull-ups, then I did my, my baby L sit. Um, and it wasn't even, I mean obviously it was hard, but you know, I was able to just switch it up a little bit and do different exercises in one routine. And then I did this again, boom. I think I did like the bicep. Yep, bicycle one, tuck, tuck, tuck. So always abs, um, grip strength, lats, um, yeah. And that was the video. All right guys, so that was uh, the first week of me trying to get better at calisthenics. And here are the five exercises you should do to get better at your front lever or your muscle up. Number one, work on your uh, pull-ups. Number two, work on your abs, strengthen your abs. Um, hang on a bar and then do the baby L sit or if your core is strong enough and if you're flexible enough do an L sit. Number three, tuck front lever. Um, for this one make sure you bring your knees up, bring it really close to your body and then hold onto the bar and like try to like really breathe and hold the, the position for as long as possible. And next one, the rise front lever. So start from the bottom, make sure you extend your arms. Um, if you have to bend them in the beginning, I assume it's okay because I got better with it. But like I said, it's it's me uh, trying to get better at this. Uh, if you have any, if there are any people out there who can give me tips to be better at it or faster, improve faster, let me know. Um, and then the last one, the reverse deadlift. So we have the five exercises that I did in uh, in the first week. I really focused on those five exercises. I didn't do anything else. Um, to you know, get better at my muscle ups or anything else. I know you should, you know, probably do more like dips and stuff. But I, my arms are strong enough to, you know, do the dips. So for now, I think the main issue for me is to get better at the pull-ups and get the technique right, so I can actually like get myself up there for a couple times, not just once. All right. So yeah. That was it, that was a short recap of week number one. Let me know what you guys think if you wanna see week two. I mean, I'm gonna post it anyways, but obviously I would love to get your feedback. And yeah, for all of you guys who are out there who do calisthenics, let me know if you see anything, just just write it in the comment section. Um, I'm really curious, I wanna learn, I wanna get better, I wanna do this in 30 days. So thank you again uh, for watching, make sure you do subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Shocker of the week will come back as soon as I, um, you know, have everything locked down. And yeah, till then, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.